Good morning, good morning. This is Chris Z from Affinity, and this week is Fall Prevention Week. And so it's important that I know that if you or your loved one is a fall risk at home, safety and safe environment and providing them from going into the hospital and having somebody there for them is so important. Today is going to be for you. I hope everyone's having a good morning. Get your coffee. Let's have a great, great morning together. I wanted to share a little quote with you before we start, but, uh, you know, um, it's kind of not related to someone following, but it's just a great quote. And it's a, you know, never quote, never, never, never quote. Oh, <laughs> so never quit. If you fall, get up right away. It doesn't matter what happened yesterday. Today is a new day. It is up to you to get back on track. It's up to you to move closer to your goals and your dreams. And remember, you choose to do it and you make the decisions to do it yourself. And that will make you a champion in this world. Never give up when you fall. Your loved ones fall, even if they really they physically do. Someone there picked them back up and moving forward priceless that's why caregivers are important having family members are around are important and so no matter what if you're falling someone's there to pick you back up and you're moving forward good morning good morning my friends how are you we're going to make the best out of today there's no excuses this morning we're going to be the best we can be for your family friends and your co-workers at work Remember, if we work together, we're gonna to grow together. Let's inspire someone today and commit to be an example of greatness. Thank you for joining our show. We have an amazing home care topic for you today. Let's rise and grind together. Welcome to our show, Coffee with Chris. My name is Chris Z, your host this morning. Hit that share button and like button on Facebook. Show us some love. Welcome to our show, Coffee with Chris. Our mission is to provide you with home care tips, education, and resources to ensure you receive the quality care you deserve in the comfort of your home. Hello, hello. So it is fall prevention week. And so, you know, there's a lot of tips that are for you and for your loved ones. And, you know, it's important to understand during these times is that, you know, you can be there always for your loved one but there's also times when you can't you know according to the the cdc uh, uh, uh cdc guidelines you know centers of disease and control falls are the leading cause of fatal and non-fatal injuries in older adults you know even if age an aging loved one falls but doesn't get have any type of injuries, any type of broken bones, or any type of dramatic brain injury whatsoever. An accident um, will take a toll on them. You know, there there is a fear that our parents, when they get to a certain point, that they start to uh, have, you know, and, and then it starts to trickle down to their activities of daily living, you know, engaging with others around them and enjoying to be around others, you know, which re results into a physical and cognitive uh, decline and all their overall quality of life can uh, actually diminish because of their fear of falling and doing things, you know, and, and out, out and about and other public or they're from their friends. You know, how can we reduce, how can we reduce um, someone from falling, your, your parents from falling, you know, your loved ones. Falls can, you know, occur for many uh, different reasons, but there are several simple preventative measures that can significantly reduce a senior's risk of falling and occurring an injury. You know, taking the following steps that we, we talked about can really ensure your, your, your loved one uh, remains safe at home. Now, creating a safe home environment is something I wanted to start off by talking about. You know, um, I know that we go out and do home safety checks for free and go around and tour around the house and give recommendations of what we feel that is important to have a 
safe environment before we even start you know, our, our care services. You know, most seniors fall um, in and around a home during, you know, the environment is hazardous. And, you know, the ideal fall proof home features having, uh, well, the, looking at the walking surfaces throughout the house is the first thing that we always look for, like rugs. And, um, you know, while this may seem attainable, and having it in your home, you feel like that with the, the decor, and it's very difficult to take take away. But you have to look at the the, law, the big picture of this is that, especially for seniors, is that there are some minor changes that can really truly reduce uh, our loved ones from falling. Keeping the room clutter free is one. You know, having things on the floor, like I said, moving furniture around having the walkway so that it's clear and you know looking out for those electrical cords and throw rugs uh, these are all these are all hazardous uh, the, the keeping the floors surfaces clean as well too and dry so that it's not slippery as well uh, carpets and rugs uh, must have a type of skid skid proof type of backing um, and there's so secured to the floor as well and and the, the this carpet i'm going up and down the stairs where some family members have you have to be careful of too you know stand by assist someone with them at all times is going to be oh, it's going to be important so ensuring the stairwells that are adequately lit sometimes if you can you know at night and you're going down to get a, a drink of water or um, you know, if, and if your parents have a memory loss and they're wanders, that's even more of, of, of a risk for them to even move around and maneuver in their house without someone being there. So sometimes you can even put a fluorescent tape on the edge of each step to avoid missteps. If they don't have any mem mem uh, memory issues, they can still put uh, so the way that they can see the step and they know exactly what their next move is too. Uh, and uh, you know, this is not these suggestions are not for everyone. Just wanted to put a little disclaimer up there, but sometimes they work. Uh, installing grab bars is something also that I wanted to discuss with you that is important. Um, then during it, where the the obviously in the shower and near the toilet and or your tub is this going to be a specific area where I would highly recommend installing grab bars. Um, so you know, using a non-slip spray treatment or a permanent non-slip strips to provide added traction to the floors of the shower and the tub, bath, bathtub. A lot of people put shower chairs, but it maneuvers and moves around, it gets really slippery. So having something on a, a surface where you can actually where they can stick on, and um, that that helps the the chair from maneuvering, especially when going from a sitting to a standing position uh, ensuring that light switches are located near the entry of each room helps fumbling again when in the dark and moving activated lights motion sensor lights as well too and it's going to be important uh reorganizing cabinets you know and uh, other type of storage areas to minimize the need for you yourself or your loved one to, to bend down or reach or type of grab, grab things as well too and this is something that also is uh, a, a reason for falls you know maneuvering around the house and doing their daily things and 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 uh you know like i said if they're trying to uh, to to do uh uh like grab something from the pantry and they uh, our fall risk, their balance is not going to be perfect. So that's something to be aware of and always kind of understand the behaviors of your parents as well, too. Uh, appropriate footwear is really important, you know, and so you consider purchasing two pairs, one for inside the home and one for wearing for uh, outings uh, and avoid walking around in socks uh, stockings or any type of backlit slippers. You know, seniors often have a favorite pair of shoes or slippers that they always want to wear, but if they're considered to be worn out and doesn't fit well, um, 
that can be a very serious fall hazard. Another thing I wanted to, to discuss with you is how important it is to have encourage physical activity. You know, res, regular physical activity is the first line of defense against falls and fractures. You know, as people uh, get get older, you know, they typically become less active and begin to lose muscle tone. And another thing I want to discuss is, is, is uh, you know, mobility aids that you can use is uh, supplies. Uh, mobility aids, even though these type of devices um, can uh, uh, are, are meant to facilitate safe and active and independent living, also is important to ensure that um, your loved one is using them uh, uh, properly as well too. Physical therapists and occupational therapists can come into the home and they can do training and teaching for your, yourself or for the caregiver that's there. But uh, I'm recommending the appropriate type of ex, uh, uh, assisted devices uh, are going to be really important in educating you on what they need at that time. You know, eye exams as well, too, are going to be imperative for your parents, too, because having an, an issue, a decline in loss, uh, 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 eye, eye loss can cause falls. You know, even small changes in sight can make a senior more prone to falling. So, you know, getting appropriate uh, glass prescriptions, you know, or for example, a bifocal or trifocal or, and, uh, you know, progressive lenses can sometimes also distort the vision and the depth perception while walking. So this makes it easier to someone to lose balance and fall. You know, to prevent, to prevent this is, you know, you could have your loved one uh, practice looking straight ahead while walking and lowering the entire head when looking at the ground instead of gazing through the lower parts of the lenses. Uh, medications also, too, is a factor to, th to think about is that if you are having um, um, interactions with medications that are not, uh, um, uh, you know, that, that can cause, you know, drowsiness, unsteadiness, fatigue, you know, as people get older, they are more likely to suffer from a variety also of having chronic, you know, medical conditions that must be managed by their medications. You know, so, you know, research does show that the median number of prescription medications taken by the older adults is typically around four. So it's estimated that usually between 30 and 40% and of seniors take five or more prescriptions, all of which come with side effects and sometimes can have pot potential um, adverse drug interactions. So, you know, it, those re the, ha having the wrong medication, just pretty much saying that it, it can cause someone to be able to get dizzy or any type of uh, situations like dizziness, uh, confusion, drowsiness, uh, uh, fluctuations in, in blood, blood pressure, um, you know, or, or can have slow re, re, slow reflexes all as well. So these all really just do is, you know, really what I'm trying to say is that they contribute to, you know, accidents as well too. So I hope this helped you and or your loved one. Please hit that share button, hit that like button and support us. We really appreciate you. And during these times right now and we wanted to share with you because it's fall prevention uh, week that uh, possibly that this information could resonate with someone else. So again, if you really saw this is valuable for you, please uh, hit that like button, hit that share button. And if you have any questions or concerns, we're always here for you. God bless everyone. Hope everyone has a great, great morning. Thank you for spending your time with me. I appreciate you so much. And I hope you have a great rest of your week.